today i like to share some knowledge about the construction of the bridge embankment and uh, i will show you the drawing of the bridge construction of the embankment and actual condition of the site first of all i like to introduce about the drawing we will show you the first of all the plan detail of the pier cap for the embankment these are the pedestal we can see the given number in the pedestal is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 from right side to left side in this bridge construction we had the six gutter between every pier and also we can see the total length of the pier cap is the 16.814 meter look at this this is the dirt wall the main function of the dirt wall which is the transfer the load from the the approach slab to the pier and the dirt wall and earth wall between we are filling the soil we can easily see into the drawing this is the soil filling then after i will show you the seismic risk trainer and arrester which is the construction between the two pedestal the main function of the construction of the restrainer and arrester is the protect the overturning of the gutter when will this seismic vacuum at that time it will give a safety from overturning then after we can see the distance between two pedestal which is the 2.8 meter and uh, we can see the cross section are given the a cross section bb cross section and h cross section given into the drawing after that we will show the section of the aa which is the above the this drawing look this is the a cross section direction of the cross section is given into the drawing this drawing given about the plan look this is the pier cap we can see into the drawing pier cap has the step which gives because of the elevation on the road on this road curve was coming so it gived we can see the total length of the pier cap is the 16.814 meter and the step of the pier cap is 315 mm then after we will so see the bb section which is the approach slab section and uh, sand filling and every we can see into the drawing the approach slab thickness and uh, wall thickness every everywhere we can see into the drawing look at this this is the jack position are given into the drawing which is from which is the position is the center center of the bearing to 700 mm then after we can see in, into the cc section the all steel bars are given into the section cc the position of the bar are given into the section cc we can see the all remark are given also the uh, below drawing given the remark of the bar particular section wise into the detail drawing we can see into the drawing
this is the hs section and above the hs section which is the g2 and g1 section are given also the behind the mesh drawing are given okay fine uh, then after we will see the every drawing by the section wise of the schedule of the bar okay let's see the schedule of the bar and then after we will see the every drawing okay let's come on the schedule of the bar okay fine this is here Schedule till of the peer gap reinforcement first of all bar mark are given shape of bar bar is given also length of the bar given spacing and total length of the bar everything are given into the schedule of the reinforcement first of all we we will see the one easy mark bar which is a top reinforcement of the pier cap we can see into the drawing the one a is given into the drawing section cc and uh, reinforcement detail cap also every remark are given into the detail drawing we can see easily same as the two three and other remark are given into the detailed drawings we can see also the top reinforcement bottom reinforcement and we can see the two legend stirrups in cantilever portion which are given into the drawing both side of the cantilever portion we we, we provide the stir of also the six legend stirrups into the cantilever portion six legend into the cantilever portion are given into the as a 5a and 5b we can see into the remark also the two legend stirrups into the middle portion all are given into the drawing the position are given into the section cc if we did not understand by the section cc we can see into the plan of the detailed drawing which is given below the plan then after we can see the reinforcement of the below the pedestal reinforcement and binder everything are given into the schedule of the peer cap reinforcement if we did not understand about the peer uh, sorry uh, reinforcement position we can see the G G G g1 g1 section and g2 g2 section at that we can easily understand about the everything position of the bar which is the given below the drawing and uh, this is the detailed drawing of the approach slab and uh, this is the detailed drawing of the transmission Resistor and arrestor. Also, which is the pedestal longitudinal specific restrainer detail drawing and pedestal detail drawing, which the which we have the seventy by eight hundred sixteen size of the pedestal. The reinforcement are given into the schedule. 
we can see the longitudinal retainer and transfer retainer schedule then after we can see easily the total weight of the bar into the kg and number of the bar required into the particular section everything are given into the drawing and retainer and arrester size are given into the drawing we can see the 1.2 meter by 500 500 mm also the reinforcement position are given as a 17 15 and 16 remark as as well and dirt wall dirt wall reinforcement are given as well as like vertical reinforcement and horizontal reinforcement also the stirrup are given into the schedule reinforcement we can see into the drawing the detail drawing we can see that 22 22a and 19a are given into the vertical reinforcement and the horizontal reinforcement and stirrups look this is the 22b and 92a section hs hh has given everything if we did not understand we can see easily the section other section of the drawing then after we will the schedule of the reinforcement of uh, approach slab uh, which has the top reinforcement bottom reinforcement and other reinforcement distribution bar we can see and look this is the approach slab drawing the 20 25 and 23 are reinforcement of the approach slab and bottom reinforcement 24 and 26 which is the given distribution bar also the which are given into the section of the BB into the drawing we have the mass position and uh, length and width of the mesh everything will given into the drawing look at this this is the check location position and when and also step section G, g1 and g2 are given by the section which is useful for the stirrup of variation portion and everything about the cutting of the reinforcement you can use through cutting find out the variation of the ring reinforcement section g1 and g2 so we can understand the step position and everything about dimension and uh, when we give the give to the elevation of the uh, bridge at that curve portion we have to change the pedestal size which are given into the drawing every pedestal size are given as per required elevation of the bridge we has this pl cap on the curve look this is the actual side condition which is the dirt wall bars and below the top reinforcement and which is the arrester retainer arrester and retainer and below the this is the pedestal and besides the pedestal which is the jack mesh and now concreting is started after condition of the concreting, I will show this picture, which is the elevated pier cap.